Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Holly here. Thought I'd record a uh, heads up session for a laugh. Okay, so we get King High board. Sea Bear. We're, gonna, we're not going anywhere yet. We've got back doors to a straight. Could hit a set. Could be good. Uh, we're going to be calling. He's likely to pot this. Um, so I think we'd be calling this with any ace, obviously, any king, possibly some eights. So I think we can fold fives here. Let's have a minute. Three eight, we're going to be folding. Nice, double gut shot. Uh, deciding what sizing we want to use. I think it's half part or three quarter part. I'm gonna go with half part, I think. I think he has to defend slightly more hands versus half part. So it's less likely we're up against two pair when he does continue. Line seven, I'm gonna be Free betting. Looking for a fold. And we need to be C betting here with the backdoor diamonds. And now we're going to check. Okay. Versus that, we're just going to be folding. Uh, I could definitely have a queen here for sure. Call any strong jacks, queens, stuff like that, overpairs. Fold the rest. Come on, cat. Fuck. Go over there. And we'll let that one go. Um, weird spot. Don't particularly want be want to be calling many large bets with a weak ace. But when you flop trips, uh, it's pretty good. I think we just call. Two flush draws there. Don't think we want to be checking. Um, we're just going to bet small. And he folds, okay. Going to be limping with 8 4 suited. Um, see, so betting this flop, we've got some, uh, some turns we can barrel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you out the room if you continue, cat. Mr. Jean Paul. Uh, Suit the king. Gonna be coming in with a three bet. Uh, actually, no. That's not a great hand, a three bet. Rather three bet king three off or something. Okay, so we do hit the straight. There are two flush draws, so I think we want to size up. <sighs> so we lose to seven, ten seven. Well, I think we want to try and take this down now. So we're going to raise again. And it looks like we're going to lose to 10-7. 3-bet. 
3-7. Oof. 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 Yikes. Okay, well, that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. DJN's gonna DJN. So, uh, we're gonna continue. <clears throat> Getting 3 bet a lot, which is kind of standard. I know King uh, Queen 6 suit is the 4 bet, according to Fedor Hulls. Queen 8, I think we just want to call. I have some back doors here, so we're going to be floating here. Uh, we're going to be floating again. Uh, I think we just jam all rivers. Now we just hope he doesn't have a nine or anything. Nice. Okay, so we backdoored into the flash there, like a pro. It's gonna be three betting here. What's this? Jack of Diamonds, I think, is okay here. Two over cards. I'm not sure what size you want to be going for here. Yeah, I felt that come in a mile off. I don't think he's necessarily that strong. Question is, do we want to float one? Okay. I think we just have to fire now. It's in. In with the bluffs. Degen clicking buttons. Okay. I feel like you see that nearly every single ace, ace I flop. So. Mixing in some tens. Definitely not um, playing optimal opening ranges, folding a lot of hands. I mean, 9 4 of diamonds is probably a call. Most of the time, you just end up check folding with hands like this. Jack five feels like I want to fold. And we're going to be C betting with a jack. Uh, now we're going to be betting pot. Block some combinations of jacks there. We got an open ender. I think we call looking for the ten of hearts. Five of hearts probably better. A 
And we're going to be tank calling again. I think we lead any straight river. And we'll be checking this. Okay. Definitely could be doing this with a bluff with a missed flush draw. He could be doing it with us up with a nine, possibly with an eight ace. I mean, it's hard to make a pair heads up. I'm going to call. Nice. Missed flush draw it was. Queen seven to a three X. I could take it or leave it. I'm gonna fall this time. This is a three bet for me. <laughs> Cool. Checks back. Could have a random six. Our hand still could be better than mine. Eight high could be good. Versus like seven four or something. Well, now it's not. Three four. It's a mandatory bluff for him on the river there with 3-4. Pool seems to be pretty light at the moment. There's a few recreationals like me in it though, which is nice. Okay. Um Plan was to go for a check raise there. Um, what sizing do we want to use? Let's go for a half pot. Six nine, got a three bet as a bluff, hoping for a fold. Okay, we don't get one. We had a nice flop for our rate, for our yeah, for our range. Not our hand. <laughs> Can I have that one. Before I, put, before I even press the button, I thought you could have hand like a3 that he's going to be calling my bet with. And now uh, making two pair. Uh, uh, bluffs. I mean, 4 5 is a bit of a stretch to be calling on the flop half part. Not many bluffs there.
Track 10. Hopefully this guy doesn't shove. Doesn't. Ooh, nice. And we're just going to be betting small. Uh, double flush draw now, so we're going to bet. Okay, if I do suit did, I'm going to be three betting. I'm going to check this flop. And we're going to be betting now. Check deciding river. He does overbet. This would be a sick bluff catch. His timing seems as if he wants me to fold. Ugh. I'm going to call. Nice. Got him! As Ginger would say. Gonna be sea betting the king I board. Checking back the seven. Betting river. And guys bet pot. We're gonna be raising this. Okay, a7, easy call for him. Uh, I've got this guy labeled as a wreck for some reason. Gonna be calling this for sure. Decent turn. Proves our hand. Let's see what he does. Okay. We're gonna go for the check. Uh, he does check back. I'm going to go for the check raise. It's either a check raise there or third part, I think. I went for the greedy option. What did he have? He had a seven. Very disciplined. Disgusting flop. Still managed to win that one somehow. I think three nine of diamonds is an open, but
Okay, checks back. Likely to be an ace high type of hand. Don't think you'd check back 10 jack if you see betting that, I think. Could be ace jack. I think we want to bet for protection. Okay, picking up some nice small pots. Let's hope we hit a set here. Nearly. And not quite. And we're going to see bet. Try and take it down. It's a decent result there for pocket threes. So this guy seems pretty passive. Okay, King Deuce. Gonna try a limp. We're gonna go for a limp. A limp uh, three bet. And then we're gonna C bet. Uh, we're going to be checking this, praying for a king or a deuce. <laughs> Didn't get it. Let's see what he has. He does check. Oh, I'd hate to just check here and lose to a seven. <clears throat> But it's very likely just a weak ace. I think we concede. Jax. Oh, fair play to him. Three bet or call? I'm gonna call. Uh, we're gonna call again. Um, I think check call plays better. Yeah, it feels like a bluff. He could be targeting a king though, and he's just rivered the ace. It's definitely a thing. Uh, I'm a fish, so I'm gonna call. I'm a station, what am I gonna say? Yeah. I guess we just jam now, right? Queen six, okay. Well, he definitely helped out our stack there. <laughs> what was that? Thank you, sir. Who versus a three bet queen seven? Yeah, now we fall. I'm not that poke. There we go. Insta call. Gonna be C betting though. 
Get that one through. Come on. Come on, Wheel. I'm just going to bet big. Hope he has a draw. Doesn't. If we had a club there, we could bet smaller. Maybe even check. But I think, you know, with 10 jack and clubs, a potential thing there. Um... Gonna go for the bluff. We have nothing. Hearts brick. Nice. And we're gonna see that this one. And we're gonna huge over bet this turn. Get in, boys. Feeling feisty, we're gonna three bet. Hit a pit. Gonna check. And then we're gonna check call. Oof. Oof. He should, he should have bet this. <coughs> Excuse me, because I was calling. I don't know why I've got this guy labeled as a whale, but. Or was he the guy who went crazy earlier? I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Yeah, he had the queen six. Let's check this one back. I'm going to be calling. And I think we can value bet. Yes. It's kind of close there, but we've managed to find some value. Uh, fold. Get in, boys. Print in, boy, yeah? Fucking print in. Excuse the language. Do I want to check raise or lead this? I'm going to try a lead. So interesting thought here is that is an ace good? So I think he has something like king 10, king 8, stuff like that. But then if a 3 pops off, he's unlikely to bet, isn't he? I'm going to fold. Top pair. No heart, so we're going to size up. Expect to be raised here a lot. And I think we're going to call. Could even raise ourselves if we wanted. We do block some of the, the straight E. If he has 8 9, we're blocking some of his outs. But we'll call this time. 6 is good for us, I think. And we're going to bet half pot. Charge him for his hearts. Uh, 
The man had no heart. Uh, <laughs> My lord. Two five, we're gonna let that go. So yeah, the video's coming up to half an hour, so we'll play a few more and then we'll book a win. Yeah, I'm going to call this sesh, losing a bit of concentration. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you're liking this format, watching me play some heads up Zoom, then uh, yeah, just let me know down below. Like the videos, comment, let me know what you think. Um, love playing this format. It's just it's just more fun. It feels, it feels like you have a chance to win. Whereas in playing Zoom, sometimes it does feel like it's rigged, even though obviously it's not. Uh, so yeah. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.